Boom. It's all mine. We are back. We, me, you, Ali, we are here. And uh, we're going to do Thank You For Loving Me, which is... A, I, someone left this in the comments, this is how I found it, which thank you so much for contributing to my knowledge and my exposure. That's one of the baddest ass things about YouTube is that people share stuff. So that's awesome. Um, I have not heard the original song, and I know I could look it up, and I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't want to listen to it. I don't want to listen to the original version. I just want to hear Elite be awesome. Because on pretty much every song he's covered that I've looked up, the original version is like nowhere near as good as his version. So let's just listen to his version. And you might be like, well, you should be, um, you should see what great job he's done converting the song. I know what great job he's done because I can see him playing the guitar, right? There's going to be a melody, a bass line, and chords, and those are all taken from the original song. The man is a genius, and he's an excellent, excellent player. I don't need to listen to the original to admire and respect his uh, craft. So with that being said, let's check it out. Okay, I can't trust his fingers. This has to be an alternate to me. It's got to be. So I have to trust more of my... I'm watching his, his fingers for this mechanics, for his technical uh, plane, what he's doing with his digits. But I think I have to trust my ear more than what I'm seeing. Maybe he's not, I can't do it, I can't even tell. By the way, that last chord he played was like my favorite sounding chord here. Oh, I'm highlighting the volume, my bad. Let's back up. Right there, that chord. Right there.
alternate. It's gotta be. An extremely powerful, powerful performance. Um, you know, the, on pretty much every Elite video we've done, after listening to the song, I will demonstrate some guitar techniques that I think are appropriate. Um, and they're, they're, <laughs> this is funny how fast things change. I was going to tell you, I think on this video, I'm not going to show you anything. And then as I'm thinking that, I'm like, well, I can show you something. I think I can show you something. But uh, I want to say that like, if you want to leave right now, I don't, I don't know that you're missing out on that much because... It's just an emotionally powerful song. And that's given, I have no idea the lyrics, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've never heard the original song, I don't think. Uh, just the way he played it, which is what music is, man. Music is, for those of you who don't know my background, which I'm not going to go into it, but, you know, the, the majority of music I've played in my life to crowds uh, has no lyrics. It's just music. And so the idea is you have to make the music convey something. And he did that on this, this piece. But what we will do is a little small um, pretty thing in thirds. Because so I think I can remember how to do it. And thirds are really simple. We're going to do it in the key of E. Which means you just take your E major scale and you just skip a note. So like E and G sharp. And then um, F sharp and A and blah, 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 all the way through. And uh, we're going to do a pedal tone on a B string and a pedal tone on an E string. Hopefully this guitar is in tune. My acoustic is in a different room. Because he used a lot of thirds in there. He uses a lot of thirds all the time because thirds are a really good idea. They're really effective. And I'm so I'm going to like, the only reason I'm deciding to show this to you is not because I want to show you thirds. It's because... I think this is also very pretty, and I think pretty things should go here. So, all right, so we're starting up here. Whoops. Wait, what the, what did I do? What, did I not start far enough up? What? There it is. You have to give me a second. I don't, I have no idea what I'm going to show you when things start. I'm like, oh, let me think of this thing so I can get it right. What's next? So I can get it right, but it's all thirds all the way down. Let's see if we can get it again. That's it. And now we're going to add, so we're going to get, right, let's 
try again. It's just thirds all the way down. On the end, I go to an E chord. We start in E, and then we move through the scale. Which is, I don't have any dots on this guitar. 14, 13, 13, 11, 11, 9, yeah, 11, 9, 9, 8, 7, 6, 6, 4, 4, 2, 2, 1. Play that, don't play it. If you don't play it, I hope you enjoyed me playing it. Um, yeah, weird video where I just, I just so enjoy his play and I don't really feel like talking that much about guitar, but I, I hopefully that's something that you can, I don't know, appreciate. You don't have to, but maybe you would. I feel like I'm going to go on a long rant and just like say a bunch of stupid things, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to call it off right now on a long ending and just say that it's supremely lucky or blessed that we all have each other and, and that's enough to say. I'm glad that you're here, I'm glad that he's here. And I hope you find something to be glad about. And if you can't, that's okay too. Shit happens. But hopefully, if you can't find anything to be positive about, maybe in the next day or two, your situation will change. Because life never stays the same. It always changes. So maybe things will change for the better. As a dude with a fake fireplace in the background, Cause that's me. I'm a dude. That's a fake fireplace. I'm gonna disappear in one, two, three.